Oh, hey. I'm really sorry I've been avoiding you. Can we... Can we talk about last night, please? Yeah, yeah, I, I know it was just one stupid kiss, but... Can we just talk about it? I have some stuff that I want to say. Okay, thank you. No one was sitting here, right? <laughs> they kind of just came in and stole their seat if they were. Oh, right. Yeah, good point. Okay. Well, last night I had some alcohol, but you know that already. And I don't I don't usually just go around kissing the people that I literally meet the day before. I honestly don't know you that well, but I I did kind of feel like I No, nothing. Um what I wanted to say was I don't want to make things awkward, so I will probably not be doing that again. Unless, of course, you want me to. But I just don't want to live with someone that can't even look me in the eye anymore without thinking, you know, about that. <sighs> I know people always tell you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't date your roommate or you shouldn't get with your roommate because... It just makes the whole living situation really awkward. But, to be honest, I don't feel awkward with you. I actually feel pretty comfortable with you and I feel like, even though I've known you such a short amount of time, I already feel like, like you're one of the closest people I have and I feel like if we were to just casually, you know, kiss and stuff, then I feel like even that wouldn't make it awkward. But you never know, I could be wrong, because I know y you are socially awkward, but for me, personally, I feel like we could be really comfortable as friends. I hope that made sense, because it made a lot more sense in my head. Um, yeah. Please say something. Really? Sure, we can, we can forget it happened if that's what you want, I guess. Hmm? What do I want? I... don't know. Can I be honest with you? I kind of felt this kind of... chemistry the second I kind of saw you come into the apartment. The second I started helping you move in your boxes, I was just completely comfortable. I mean, you could see that I was telling jokes and making fun of you and <laughs> you know, it's like I've known you for ages. I've never had that with anyone before. I mean, sure, I know a lot of people, but I'm not like on that level of comfort. It's like it's like I already knew you in like a past life or something. I don't know what I'm saying. It sounds so stupid right now. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your coffee. You can... We can talk about this when we get home, if you like. Really? Okay. I'll join you. I hope I haven't just made things really awkward for you. Because I know you're a lot more awkward than I am about this stuff. That's no secret. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I trust you. So anyway, what did you order? It looks really good. 
In fact, I think I might get the same thing. Try it first. Oh my god. You're actually genius. Because what if it just looks really appetizing, but it tastes like shit? I mean, obviously you like it, but we could have different tastes. For example, you wanted to buy... I already forgot what drink it was, but it tasted like shit to me. But you liked it. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Thank you. Hey, you know what? That's not bad. Okay, I will get the same. I will be right back while I go and order it. Do you want anything while I'm up? No, it's fine, honestly, I don't mind. Ooh, a cake does sound good. Okay, as long as you let me have some of that too. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a second. You know I can see you staring at me, right? <laughs> Oops, that was a bit loud, sorry. Oh, right, hi, sorry. Can I get a pumpkin spice latte, please? And can I get a slice of red velvet cake, too, too? Thank you very much. Hey, I hope you like red velvet. <laughs> Well, you should have said you wanted that one instead. You just said a cake, so I got a cake. <laughs> it's so difficult. Oh, thank you very much, Hamish. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Why did you have to be so difficult? You could have specified what cake you wanted. Well, I guess I'll eat it if you don't want any. Of course you want some. I mean, who doesn't like red velvet? Even if it's not your favorite. Oh, it does look really good. I'll let you take the first bite. And you can tell me how shit it is, apparently. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just you do the honours. Oh, come on. You can't even eat red velvet cake without dropping it on you. Do you need me to feed you? Who cares if people look? <laughs> you clearly can't do it yourself, so... Here. Say, ah. <laughs> there you go. Good job. I'm sorry, I should stop being so mean to you. Did you want a refill of coffee, by the way? I didn't ask. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, as long as you're good. Mine's hot. Ow. You could have warned me. Okay, good point. Coffee is supposed to be hot. <laughs> okay. Sure. You can bully me too. It's fine. Do you... Do you feel it? Do you see what I mean? I'm just really glad that I'm already this comfortable with you. It takes me a while to warm up to people. I know it doesn't seem like it. I seem like such a people person. And I am. But I like saying... I'm... How do I word this? I'm a people person, but I'm also a people pleaser. So I will tell them whatever they want to hear. Whereas with you, I can just really be myself. So... Thank you. Oh, Jesus. I'm so sorry. 
I might need I might need to get some tissues over here. Um, excuse me, there's been a bit of a spillage. Can can we get some Oh shit, I got it on you? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, go get cleaned up. I'll I'll come help you. I don't know, I feel so bad, I don't know what to do. Come on. Well, well, the workers will clean that up. They work here. It's fine. <laughs> I know that makes me sound terrible, but like it's kind of not my problem anymore. <laughs> I'm joking. I would never usually do this, but I'm sticking with you because, you know, you've had a little accident, it looks like. If you've had an accident, it wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's just go to the bathroom. <laughs> Come on. Here, I'll go get you some tissues. You put your shirt under the hand dryer. <laughs> Good point. I have seen those TikToks about how unhygienic... Ha yeah, I've not used hand dryers since I've seen the bacteria around them. <laughs> Honestly, go watch that TikTok. It will completely change your view about hand dryers. Anyway, completely off topic. Tissues. I'll be back in a second. Here we go. Let me just clean you up. Huh? Hmm? Nothing. I'm not staring at you, I'm just wiping your chest. Sorry, what? Whew. Did someone have the hand dryer on? I can't tell. I'm really hot now. Um, <laughs> okay, maybe you should just do it yourself. Okay? Here's the tissue. Sort yourself out. I, I can't do it. I, I'm feeling too much. If you know what I mean. Anyway. I'll go wait outside, maybe. How about that? <laughs> hmm? I'm fine. What? No, it's just really hot in here and I'm just feeling really hot. Yeah, because it's, because you know, it's hot in here because the hand dryers and the, the hot sink water and you and, okay. So, <laughs> I will go wait outside and then maybe we can go home. Sound good? What? Now who's the one staring? What are you doing? Why are you grabbing my hand? Hey, I just told you I can't touch your chest. It makes me feel... Hey, I can... I can actually feel your heartbeat. Oh, thank God I'm not the only one who's nervous. You feel it? Hey, feel mine too. Mine's the same. See? Yeah, I don't think it's going to slow down anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, this, this definitely won't help with my heart or anything. Wait, wait, wait. We're in public and I'm not drunk. I have no excuse this time. Yeah, why do I need one? Oh. 
Oh, oh. Um. <laughs> hey, sorry. We we were just leaving. I. I spilled coffee on them, and I. It. Let's just go. <laughs> that was so awkward. Let's go home, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>